what's up you guys welcome or welcome back to the channel if you are new here hey welcome pull up a chair get a seat click the subscribe button you are family now you're not going anywhere today i have a video for you guys on some skincare some affordable skincare products that i used that i think works well with all skin types like I think this is going to work well for all skin types and if you are looking to get rid of that textured skin, this is where you need to be. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump straight into this video. I really hope you guys can hear me. I do have my fan on. She's a little hot in here. Plus, my hair is so... Bleh. So before we even start, I want to kind of preface this video on the kind of skin that I have. So. I would say like my entire life, majority of my life, I have always just had pretty clear skin, thankfully. However, I did have some textured right around here and on the bridge of my nose and honestly like it never really bothered me. Like I think this whole thing about like glass skin and all of that stuff like really made people self-conscious about their skin because honestly I really just never noticed it like I mean I noticed it but it just never was a problem for me but what did become a problem was when I went to Atlanta about like a month and a half ago and my face literally broke out into I don't even know if it was a rash or what it was but all I know is that my entire face was basically this texture that I had right here and on the bridge of my nose all over rough bumpy textured skin all over my face and I was freaked out I was like what's going on with my face <laughs> like just touched down in Atlanta about to get lit and my face is messed up really I was like time to get this under control and within a few days my skin was thankfully back to normal. So I know you guys might be like, Sabrina, honestly, you probably just had a rash. The weather, whatever it was in the air probably affected your skin and you're right. But I know these products work because this long-standing textured skin that I had here and on the bridge of my nose was literally gone within a few days of me using these products. So this is tea. Points will be made in this video, so stay tuned. All right, so for the sake of organization, and me not rambling as I tend to do, I'm gonna break this down into some simple categories that we use for our skincare. So I'm gonna be doing makeup remover, cleansers, toners, serums, exfoliants, moisturizer, and sunscreen. We are not gonna forget the sunscreen. So let's go ahead and get started. You guys have definitely seen this before, I know it, but I wanna talk about this because this is not the regular Neutrogena wipes, this is actually the fragrance-free version. The reason why I decided to pick up the fragrance-free moisturizing or cleansing towelettes rather is because honestly, I've figured that if my skin is kind of breaking out like this, I probably don't need to be putting fragrances on my skin. A lot of the times these fragrances and these extra oils that they put into these products for the sake of what marketing and aesthetics literally is not helping us at all, but it's making us break out and it does nothing to help. So honestly, I went ahead and I picked up these cleansing towelettes that I usually use except the fragrance free version and my skin feels so much better. It's less irritated when I take my makeup off and I don't have to worry about my skin literally being compromised because of a fragrance or a perfume being in there. Taking away from the function of the actual product itself. Yeah, not happening. So let's hop into cleansers. The first cleanser that I'm gonna talk about is what I was actually using during the time of that breakout and during the time of me having that like crazy textured skin. I will put some pictures on the screen for you guys to see. The first cleanser that I was using was the CeraVe Renewing Salicylic Acid Cleanser. Now, I don't have the bottle with me right now because I ran out and I'm using something else, which I'll show you in just a second, but that honestly helped my skin improve so much. If you don't know what salicylic acid is, it's basically an acid that improves your skin texture um, it's in a lot of acne products. You will find it um, to help treat acne and to kind of gently exfoliate the skin and remove any rough, bumpy skin textures that you might have. So it is a key ingredient to have in any skincare product, really, but your cleanser, I mean, we wash our face, or at least we should be washing our face every single day, twice a day. So um, yeah, I think that is a great product and it definitely helped improve the skin texture. 
Now, the product that I do have on hand right now that I'm actually using and I've noticed great results with right now is the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. Now, this literally comes out as a cream, it lathers up, and then it turns into a foam. But this is so great, you guys. This is super hydrating, and this is actually really great for people who do have normal to dry skin. The other one is really good for people who have oily skin, but I will be honest. I have dry and sensitive skin and honestly that one did not strip my face at all. It didn't feel like my face was tight or anything so that's why I honestly feel like you can still, if you have dry skin, you can still get away with using the salicylic acid one um, but if you have normal to dry skin, you can use this one and it's going to hydrate your skin um, and also it has hyaluronic acid in it as well and if you don't know what hyaluronic acid is, it literally plumps your skin. We'll talk about it more in just a second I'm so excited but it has that in it with some ceramides as well this also acts as a makeup remover so you can definitely use that as well but this right now has been working wonders on my skin and I really do love it now moving on to toners I'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm gonna be completely transparent 85 to 90 percent of the time I was not using a toner on my face and that's just because of maybe laziness I don't know but I just wasn't using a toner on my face and I realized that toning is actually really important for you to do because it is your first step that you're gonna do to reintroduce hydration back into your skin so toning is important do not skip that step whatsoever now because I have a dry and sensitive skin I like to keep my skincare routine simple I feel like even if you have clear skin compromised skin whatever it might be simplicity is key when it comes to the skincare game so I just use this product right here this is from Trader Joe's this is the rose water facial toner and even though this is not fragrance free it does not disrupt my skin I've noticed that it works well with my skin um, but I do use this and I put it on a cotton pad and I just wipe my face with it or spray it on my face or anything like that and it does hydrate and reintroduces that moisture into my skin now for my oily people i do want you guys to hear me out for just a second because you guys might be like hydration moisture this that all these things and you have oily skin but the honest truth i think in my own opinion and i'm not a dermatologist is that at the end of the day we still need to have moisture in our skin skin is skin whether you're oily dry combination you still do have to hold some sort of moisture into your skin there are just products out there that are going to work better for you and your skin type and that's what you just go for but don't steer away from things that are saying hydrating and things of that nature because honestly you do need the hydration like you do I love this this is three dollars and 99 cents at Trader Joe's and this is something that I just use sometimes I even use this as a setting spray for my makeup but I just love this so much it's just simple and easy to use now let's get into this holy grail product that I genuinely feel like transformed my skin and made those bumpy textured weird things on my face literally vanish literally so let's get into exfoliants, babe. This product right here is everything, and if you are not using an exfoliant on your face right now, I highly recommend you doing so and finding the right one for your skin type. This one right here is the CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol Serum. Looks like this. And honestly, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. This is everything. This is literally what transformed my face okay so you definitely should be exfoliating your skin um, I don't care if you have clear skin compromised skin whatever it is you just need to be exfoliating your skin that's gonna ensure that your skin is bright it's soft and it's healthy and this is what I used literally a few times a week on my face um, I have sensitive skin so I wasn't using it every single day and you really shouldn't be using chemical exfoliants every single day on your face you should be using them maybe twice to three times a week if your face can can withstand that for me it was between one and two times a week and that's really all I needed to see a difference in my skin so this is the holy girl product if you just trust me like if you want to get rid of those stubborn little marks on your face the bumps the rough texture this is what you need Sarah Bay needs to sponsor a girl 
Now the next step in my skincare routine is serums, applying a serum to your face. Now the next two products that I'm going to show you that I use as serums, you can actually find in actual products that are marketed as serums, but these I felt like were going to do the job for me, especially just going straight to the source. So here we are. These are the ordinary products right here. I have a niacinamide and I have a hyaluronic acid and I used both of these as serums on my face after I did the exfoliating, the cleansing, and the toning. So the first one that I have right here, this is the Ordinary Niacinamide. This evens out your skin tone, evens out your skin texture, and it also is good for all skin types. It reduces redness as well. I love niacinamide. I think this is a product that everybody should have in their skincare regimen because it just smooths your face out. Like This is what it does. This is, this is exactly what I wanted. This treated my rough and bumpy skin texture all over my face, but especially right here in this area so well. So if you don't have a niacinamide in your skincare regimen right now, highly recommend you hop on it. And honestly, this is so affordable, $6 at Ulta, Sephora, or even online. The next serum that I use in conjunction with my niacinamide is this hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary as well. And this is... I am obsessed with hyaluronic acid and the way that my face literally looks when I apply it. Hyaluronic acid literally hydrates your skin to the max and it also makes your face feel like a baby's bottom. I literally love it so much. It plumps your skin out and it makes your face look so moisturized and so hydrated. So I honestly feel like this is a game changer to having just that smooth, hydrated look on your skin. And honestly, if you are going for that glass skin look, then sure this and this niacinamide and hyaluronic acid yeah you need that now let's get into moisturizers so i am going to be completely honest with you guys it was really hard for me to find an affordable clean ingredient fragrance free moisturizer but i did a lot of research and i actually found that cerebe has a great line of products um, that are pretty affordable and they are so great and the, the ingredients are just so clean i actually went ahead and i purchased this um <laughs> yeah it's a big tub i'm not gonna lie um i'm pretty sure this is for your body like i'm pretty sure i'm using this for my face but it's definitely for your body i purchased this because it's moisturizing and it's for people who have normal to dry skin and i just want to point out that cerebe also has moisturizers for you guys that have oily skin or combination skin you don't have to opt for something this thick and rich but i do and um this is the moisturizing cream this helps restore protective skin barriers and it has ceramides in it as well and ceramides are really really important because that adds extra hydration into your face as well and um, I really love this this also has hyaluronic acid in it and it's fragrance free so this is doing everything it needs to be doing to hydrate your skin plump your skin and make it extra smooth and clear I got this at Target this is called Naturium plant ceramide rich moisture cream and I love this so, so, so much because it literally glides onto my skin. Literally, I have it on right now. You can see their face. It glides onto my skin and it feels absolutely amazing. This is something that I tried out and I went out on a limb and I was like, you know what, I'll kind of experiment but I tried this and it feels so amazing on my skin it keeps my skin so smooth velvety smooth literally and um, I feel like it just works well with all the different products that I have right here to maintain like smooth skin without that rough bumpy texture and last but not least you guys I know you guys did not think I was going to let you leave this video without telling you guys about a sunscreen no, absolutely not. So this is a sunscreen that I am going to be telling you guys about. This is actually from Walgreens. This is a Walgreens brand um, sunscreen. This is SPF 50 and this is the hydrating version. They also have a regular version for people who don't want that extra hydration. If you're oily, for instance, and you don't want that extra oil sitting on your face, then they do have a regular version of this. Um, for all of my people of color, if you struggle with finding a sunscreen that does not leave a white cast on your face, then this is going to be your best friend. 
this literally does not leave a white cast on your face it is so moisturizing it's hydrating this one is but the other one i'm pretty sure is like a regular sunscreen um the only thing that i am not a big fan of with this is the fact that it has a fragrance in it if they have a fragrance free version of this this would actually be like a 10 out of 10 for me but it doesn't it's just not fragrance free um but it does work very well and it hasn't been breaking me out or anything sunscreen is so important please wear your sunscreen guys especially my people of color we do need sunscreen don't think otherwise so get your hands on this if they still have it this was two dollars and 99 cents at walgreens and i think the bigger tube which was like so huge was like seven dollars so if they still have it go get it so you guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys learned some stuff and I hope that you guys really do try out some of these products that you guys see right here. It has really transformed my skin from that rough and bumpy texture right here that I experienced and it's smooth and honestly just keep up with your skincare routine and if you guys want a more in-depth skincare routine from me my exact skincare routine that i'm using right now with affordable products and some high-end products then let me know drop it down below also if you have any products that you want to put me on to honey put me on i want to know what you guys are on and what you guys are using as well because i'm always looking to revamp my skin routine and also make my skin look flawless so let me know thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video